One of the biggest targets of the Vietnam Air War was Laos. It was second only to South Vietnam and tonnage dropped. The bombing of Laos was two and a half times that of North Vietnam. Some of the raids were aimed at communist insurgents and others at the Ho Chi Minh Trail, the system of roads that the enemy used to carry men and supplies to the south. That campaign expanded in 1968 after the bombing of North Vietnam was halted. Many of the warplanes were reassigned to missions over Laos. When South Vietnamese troops invaded Laos in 1971, American planes provided air support, and the pilots were convinced they made a big difference. It's not the only answer. Uh, that's pretty evident, but it, it, uh, it hurts them. You know that that's uh, ammunition and uh, storage supplies and gasoline that are going off down there. They're enjoyable missions because you're helping friendlies. You're, uh, you, you can see results of, of what you're doing. Uh, uh, you can hear results. Uh, maybe a couple days later in the paper, you may even read results of what you're doing, uh, and that's always gratifying. Uh, to know that there are friendly people down there that are getting shot up, and to know that we're helping, uh, helping them, it's, uh, it's satisfying. The pilots were taking fire in Laos, but they said that wasn't the toughest part of the mission. The toughest part was landing back on the carrier. Some days that was more of a problem than others. You've got two carriers out here on station. On a busy day, on occasion, does a pilot somehow, sometimes land on the wrong carrier? <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not very often. Uh, it's happened. It's been known to happen. People you know are very close to you. Maybe you can see me blushing, but, uh, well, that, yeah, it's happened before, uh, and I did it once. So I'm gonna, it's, there's been a lot of guys do it, but uh, I'm not going to be the first to do it twice, I'll tell you that. Many of the land-based missions were launched from bases in Thailand. They were not widely publicized at the time because Thailand officially was neutral. But the bases were there and busy as Phil Jones discovered in 1971. Utapau is the home of the B-52s in Southeast Asia, the planes that were originally built to carry atomic bombs, now outfitted with more than 21 tons of conventional bombs. American reporters are not permitted to film air bases in Thailand, primarily because the American government does not want the vast installations publicized. So these scenes were filmed surreptitiously, the giant B-52s in their revetments. It is almost a cliche now that the air war is an impersonal war. The men who drop the bombs rarely see their targets or the results of their bombings. This is especially true of the men who fly in the B-52s. We talked with some of these crewmen as they relaxed off base just a few hours after a mission. They are professionals with no qualms about their job. They are convinced it is right and necessary. I feel that it does a lot of good. They, uh, I feel that they, uh, that the bombing doesn't kill any more than is necessary to, uh, to accomplish a mission. Without the air war and without the bombs being dropped, the uh, communists would probably eat us alive down there. And it's either them or us, the way I feel about it. If the war wasn't, uh, wasn't being fought here, it'd be fought somewhere else. You really think the bombs then are keeping the communists away? It is that important? Well, I can't say it's keeping them away. It's keeping them beat back to where they should be. Do you think it's effective? Of course it's effective. Or they wouldn't be doing it. 